Welcome to Universal Healing. My name is Christiana, and this is Ella Fitz. Well, Fitz Fitz. Uh, <laughs> she decided to join us. And um, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you face to face today about the Gemini full moon because I think this is a really special full moon. This is culminating what we've learned this entire year because this is the last full moon of the year and not only is that a factor but we have it happening you know this is from the 11th into the 12th but if you're on the east coast of north america or in eastern standard time this happens at 12 12 on 12 12. now i know some of you out there are like well i'm you know on the west coast or i'm in europe or wherever you might be it still is going to affect you. Just like an eclipse happening someplace in the world that we can't see, it still affects us, all right? Time and space are relative. So this is still a, a factor for you guys. Now, when I realized that, the first thing that came to mind to me, you know, being a Gemini, I start to ponder things. What does this mean? First thing came to me was the hanging man. And, you know, he gets strung up from a tree or wherever he might be in whatever deck you're looking at. <laughs> and he is stuck there in this tree until he has become enlightened, until he's gained this new perspective. When I started looking at my notes that I'd taken, because I'm not an astrologer, I do listen to a few different people and kind of take notes and see what resonates, what sticks out to me. And as I looked through those notes, I was like, wow, the hanging man really is an apt description for what's happening with this full moon. And I, for, for 2019, really, for those of us who are on this journey, who are seeking, I'm sure you can resonate with this. It's been a really trying year and um, we've been kind of feeling stuck, I think, as a collective. We've been feeling pretty stuck and um, really searching for that new perspective, the correct perspective that's going to get us out of the tree. Um, so I think this full moon is going to help with that. I mean, Gemini is represented by swords, right? You need a sword to cut yourself out of that tree. <laughs> so I wanna go over some of the aspects that I think are um, relevant we have Neptune squaring the sun and the moon. And Neptune is the planet of dreams, of the imagination. And with it squaring the moon and Gemini, the mind, the intellect, communication, and Sagittarius, the sun and Sagittarius, um, we have... <laughs> We have, um, which uh, the sun in Sagittarius is about philosophy, um, spirituality, expansiveness, exploration. So those, all those things combined is very much about connecting to source. Finding that connection within ourselves, right? It's, Using the heart over the mind. I know. You Gemini's, Libra's, Aquarians out there are like, what? <laughs> but yes, yes. Uh, source, you know, the cave of our heart. 
that is where we truly find answers. Yes, I'm not saying don't use your logic. I still use mine, but I make sure that it works with this as well. They are in conjunction. And, you know, this is also a great way to find how to make our dreams come true. Get in contact with what our life purpose is. What that truth is. We also have Mercury quincunxing Uranus. Once again, Mercury is about the intellect, communication, and Uranus is about change. And with Mercury, which is a quick sign, this is going to be quick change, quick ideas, right? All of a sudden, we're going to have that aha moment. We're going to have downloads. And, uh, you know, so if you get any ideas at this point in time, make sure that you take note of them because they are going to be divine ideas, okay? <laughs> we also have Jupiter trining Uranus. And this is going, you know, Jupiter is also about spirituality, expansiveness. So, once again, we're going to, you know, I can see a lot of awakenings happening at this point in time. And if that doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. It doesn't have to. Um, but this is also going to be a time of just happy, beneficial surprises. All right? So, it's going to be a really beautiful time. I'm really excited. We're going to have some manifestations happening. We're going to have some, you know, we're finally going to be able to cut out some of those things we've been trying to cut out. Um, I'm really excited. So what we're going to look at today is that we're going to look at what area of your life needs a fresh perspective. All right. And some of y'all might know, some of you might not. We'll see what spirit has to say. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. Uh, so we are going to look at what area of your life needs a fresh perspective. We'll see how you've been looking at it and how you need to look at it. And, um, yeah. So this is your full moon, Gemini. Let's see what is in store. What needs a fresh perspective in Gemini's life? Area their life. Ooh. Does Gemini need a fresh perspective? Alright. Hmm. Volcano. Oh Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> You've been repressing some desires, Gemini. Let's see. That's with the volcano on the bottom. I feel like um, there are some some uh, sexual. Um, desires, something it's not, something needs to be explored here, I would think. So this is for Gemini, please. For Gemini, regarding the full moon in Gemini, and what area of their life they need to have a fresh perspective with. Gemini, please. Full moon and Gemini, December 2019. All right. Let's see what we've got. So, how has Gemini been viewing their body? How, what perspective have they had in the past? Hmm. Interesting. So we have the magician on the bottom, the star right there. 
And I saw the Eight of Swords, just making sure nothing else turned over in here. Because these cards like to flip. All right. Oh, the world. And the set, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that is very interesting. Gemini, that you should have all of these as the old way of viewing your body. Mm, kind of getting like that your body is a temple thing that which is not wrong but with this eight of swords it's like and the moon it's like you haven't quite been seeing it clearly and the magician is here on the bottom All right, we might get some clarity there. I'm kind of, you know, I'm getting a very um, specific feeling about that, though. Now let's let's see how do they need to look at it in the future? How do they need to view it? What perspective do they need to have on their body as we move into 2020? Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Is it really okay? Um, so I'm seeing this as kind of like you know, we've got the masculine and the feminine here, the completion card the world, and the star, which is like a guide, wish fulfillment. So maybe you've had a very like traditional kind of way of looking at sex, right? You haven't felt mm, you wanted to be guided. From an outside source. And like you always had to 
you know, like the, with the, the sun and the world card here, like there always had to be like um, completion, we'll say. And with this nine of pentacles with the 10 of cups, I feel like there's a little bit more uh, exploring on your own kind of thing. Um, what really brings you pleasure for both people? Get some more. The emperor is taking charge. You know, like here, I feel like you're being guided by an outside source. Like you felt, you didn't feel completely comfortable in yourself. And this is about kind of taking charge. You being the, the one that makes these decisions. being in charge of your own body. Figuring out what you like. Let's get some more. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, please? Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups, exploring the options. Eight of Cups. Hmm, we've got seven and eight. Well, as I was saying that, I see an eight right here. <laughs> yeah, walking away from um, dissatisfaction like somebody else telling you what to do like very masculine demanding person telling you what to do walking away from that and figuring out you know looking at your options being in a more reciprocal situation with lots of desire <laughs> Yeah, there's been, there's repressed desire here. You, you haven't, mm, perhaps you have never, the man, the male, he ha had completion, but did the feminine, did the feminine have completion here? And this is you going out and kind of exploring a little bit. Do so with, with care, right? Protect yourselves. I dig it. I dig it, Gemini. Go for it. And this, you know, this. Yeah, this is for, you know, I don't see this as being an, ex you're just looking for a more reciprocal, someone who, uh, isn't so demanding. It's a little more balanced. I never thought that I would see all of those cars come out in a negative way. <laughs> what is up, Spirit? All right. Let's get... Oh, I did want to... 
Do we have anything else to add to this? What else does Jim and I need to know about the full moon? What does, ooh, okay. What else does Jim and I need to know about the full moon in Gemini, December 2019? Page of, that came out for um, Leo too. Page of Swords. Watch. Watch your thoughts. Watch your words. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Yeah, this is more about the um, being careful. Being careful about your words. You know, think before you act. Think before you talk. Um, and it looks like there is going to be a tower moment, an ending to something. Hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be this. Let's see. We have three eights on the board. That's abundance, okay? So don't get too scared. They're wick, actually four eights. Hmm. I don't want to, they all came out kind of separately. No, they didn't come out completely. It's not as swords came out. We're going to, because, uh, you know, a few different things are coming to mind to me, but pulled out the art book last time and it was really awesome. So we're going to do it again. And we have 16, 17, 18, 19 here. I mean, this can mean something just, you know, I just don't want to feel like there's a tower moment that's going to transform something you've been, you know, working on. It's, and it, I don't think it's necessarily about, you know, an ending to it because, you know, the Eight of Pentacles, maybe... Uh, Let's just see. Okay. What is this about, Spirit? Give us a piece of art to explain this energy that has come out on the table for the full moon. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, you guys have got this before. Didn't you? Just what is it about that makes today's homes so different, so appealing? I'm pretty sure that the, this was you guys. That is so weird. <clears throat> so I feel like this is a way... Oh my God, yeah, wow, wow, yeah. Holy crap, guys. That's a very sexually charged picture too, but it's like the young romance tree. So this is like, I feel like this is a, a way of seeing things, perhaps, you know, and uh, once again, that moon 
like this it also you know gives the idea of like <clears throat> this house that they've worked so hard on making it look just so and adding things to it but there's this leaky roof but I also see the moon there and like the moon is exposing it like that appearances aren't all they seem this thing you've been working on isn't what it seems and then the tower is going to come in to transform it the volcano is gonna blow there's been <laughs> some repression all right so let's get closing guidance For Gemini, please. Closing guidance for Gemini. Regarding full moon and Gemini. What guidance do you have for them? For Gemini, please. Guidance for Gemini. Guidance for the collective of Gemini. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. And then we have the High Priest, intend and create, and Wise One, grow within your current situation. So yeah, I see this as more of a transformation than an ending here with this. There's something you're working, you know, this is, uh, this is something you're working on. This is a skill. You have, you know, this magic guardian, it talks about, um, the ability to create, right? The ability to manifest. And as we go into 2020, this is going to be, um... It's really important to have uh, the right state of mind. And it, that's amazing that um, <laughs> the Holy Swords that came out here were the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, which is talking more about your communication, I feel, than anything else. So maybe you all have mastered um, your thoughts. Um... And then, you know, the wise one, grow within your current situation. So I feel like, there's, you know, there's an eight of cups here. Perhaps this is just walking away from a way of thinking. A way that you've seen things in the past. I'm going to read... The wise one. Knuckle down. Be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insights from your elders. 
Um, the wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking, commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you are being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. Be committed to your tasks and projects. Um, it can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed, but persevere. You are being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability. And that is not where you were born to be. So keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. So I'm kind of feeling like... This death and the tower is different, is separate. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna get it from here. Okay, we're looking for clarification for the tower and the death card transformation <laughs> gotta take it gotta take it what does this transformation have to do with what is this devotion ah and it came over here devotion to this task they want you know it, yeah this is the and this is making leaps rabbit is on the bottom making leaps um big leaps and you know this might just be that aha moment that you have the tower might be that aha moment that you have to transform you. That download this, uh, that I was talking about. Okay, I'm going to read the Magic Guardian. Stop looking outside yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within. Um, you are the magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. If you've been searching for an answer or a reason to focus, recognize that all that you are looking for is already within you. You are a powerful and magical person with the capacity to direct your intentions and will your desires into being. But your power can only be powerful when you own it, so take time to acknowledge it. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen is a real gift that you're being guided to recognize now. So, yeah, you guys, that this is like your, you know, let, other than, you know, the um, <clears throat> way that we're seeing our sexuality, um, in our body, you know, and this is also about being able to, you know, use our bodies as a vessel for other things as well, not just, you know, sexuality, but also to create, to um, build, I mean, our bodies are just amazing vessels for magic, for creation. Yeah. That's beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Well, I hope that that was helpful. I hope it resonated. Please let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. It's very helpful and I much appreciate it. Bye guys.